here talk about my history with Masters of the Universe. Masters of the Universe is a franchise that consists of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe and She-Ra, Princess of Power. Uh, some He-Man fans grew up watching the original He-Man cartoon from the 1980s, while other He-Man fans grew up watching the reboot from the early 2000s. I actually grew up watching both He-Man cartoons. I was able to enjoy both shows and appreciate both of them as good action shows. I grew up liking He-Man, but for me, the main appearing of the series was Skeletor. I thought that Skeletor was such a cool villain. The more Skeletor appeared, the happier I'd be. Most episodes had Skeletor, but I remember being disappointed when there were episodes that he didn't appear in. He-Man the Master of the Universe had some of the most iconic line of toys. I believe that's a reputation that's well earned because there were so many great He-Man toys I liked collecting. I enjoyed getting toys in the original series and the reboot. Both shows had lines of toys that had a variety of cool designs. There was a time where I was no longer watching superhero stuff. After rekindling my love of superheroes, I started rewatching He-Man. I got my old toys, had fun revisiting the adventures of He-Man and Skeletor. Also, I watched the live-action Masters of the Universe film for the first time. The film had some problems, but it was absolutely worth watching for Skeletor. Frank Langella's Skeletor remains one of the greatest supervillains in movie history. From his quotable lines to his awesome demeanor, Skeletor is an absolute delight that's worth watching multiple times. It's been incredibly inspirational, just amazing. Um... As a kid, She-Ra, uh, the only She-Ra thing I'd seen was the He-Man She-Ra Christmas special. However, I became curious about She-Ra, so I started watching the reboot. I quickly became a fan of She-Ra. Also, the She-Ra reboot quickly became one of my favorite animated shows of all time. Uh, she was a character whose outer beauty reflected the inner beauty of her heart. Her journey from being raised by by the bad guys becoming the hero that helped lead the battle against the bad guys was a touching epic story the progressiveness of the she-ra reboot blew me away a lot of shows hint at progressive things but often shy away from doing anything major the she-ra reboot took things to another level by having multiple lesbian gay characters it was an inspirational touching thing to witness um my current feelings about the Masters of the Universe franchise, I'm now a fan of the He-Man shows and the She-Ra shows. Both shows have legendary heroes and villains that I really enjoy. Uh, He-Man has a pretty good gallery of rogues, including Skeletor, Evelyn, Merman, and others. I'm glad that She-Ra has her own cool enemies. Living up to the awesomeness of Skeletor is no easy task, but Catra, Hordak, and or Prime have proven themselves to be great villains in their own right. Um, between the two protagonists of the Masters of the Universe franchise, you know, I did grow up more with He-Man, but I do think She-Ra does have some, you know, more emotional developments and maybe has made a more emotional impact on me. Of course, the big scene stealer in the Masters of the Universe franchise, at least in my opinion, is Skeletor. Uh, one of the greatest cartoon villains and live-action movie villains of all time.